Now, digging into the raw data here, we're gonna actually look at the total testosterone in LH because the LH is gonna kind of tell a story here and why n clomiphene may be preferred over testosterone for certain individuals. What's curious though is, is down here where it says LH. So we can look at the LH, the mean LH, and you can see that in the n clomiphene group, it went up and up and up, but what it didn't go up in is the transdermal testosterone. So there was a dose dependent effect on LH for n clomiphene, but the transdermal testosterone more or less really lowered LH. And that's because when you're taking exogenous testosterone, that's basically telling your body testosterone is present, estradiol is present, so it's gonna downregulate GNRH. And no matter how much it downregulates GNRH, if you're taking exogenous testosterone, it's just going to keep bringing it down and down and down. That's why so many guys will deal with basically very little endogenous, like your self-producing testosterone. And many men will see a significant drop in sperm count because LH and, and FSH are also impacted. So something to consider that you may, when you're taking transdermal testosterone or exogenous testosterone in general, you'll see a drop in LH and FSH and probably a, a dramatically decreased sperm count.